That building across the street there is my hotel, the Nalmov Hotel, as well as the Beverly Hills Diner on the ground floor, and next to that is the Rock and Roll Bar. So uh, this street in front of me to the left is Ulitsa Bolshaya Lubyanka, and to the right is Ulitsa Serentenka. So after the intersection, it changes names. So that street uh, where the rock and roll bar and uh, my hotel and everything, you have the Beverly Hills Diner on the ground floor on the corner there, which is a cool 1950s style American diner. It's really something to see um, if you weren't in the middle of Moscow and were just, you know, brought there blindfolded, you would think you were in America. It's pretty pretty wild um, all the details they got uh, on that place next to that is the rock and roll bar which is a pretty big bar with two big rooms and it's open 24 hours most nights and has a big crowd that spills out onto the street uh, mostly on the weekends and draws really big crowds and <laughs> it's really loud uh, but definitely a place to check out if you're in town and you can see a little bit what it looks like on one of my other videos named uh, Moscow Nightlife so I'm heading to Red Square on my bike here from from this street and it is about 1.2 miles or two kilometers from my hotel to Red Square and I am using a bike from the Moscow City Bike Program. And I think it worked really well in terms of the renting, the returning, the cost, uh, the ease of use of the app and everything like that. Um, really good program, I would say. And Moscow is a huge city, so if you wanna cover more than just a few tourist areas, it's really a good idea to just use a bike and kind of get lost and see where it takes you if you have uh, enough time to do that kind of thing. And this is probably a good idea f mostly for the summer and the spring, not really for the winter for sure. <laughs> and if you can't tell, this is a summer day around the middle of July, even though it's a bit cloudy outside. So I keep seeing these black BMWs rushing by with these blue police lights on their roof. And at first I thought there was some kind of police, uh, but uh, you know, what kind of cops drive around in 50 to $100,000 BMWs. Uh, so later on I found out that they're mostly elected members of the Duma, which is like the parliament or Congress or House of Representatives and they have those lights so that they can cut through the heavy Moscow traffic. So at, uh, down this street, when I hit the intersection where there's a, a kid's mall over there and there's a bike rack, so I'm gonna drop off the bike and go to the under street passage over there and head over to Nikolaskaya Street, which is kind of the tourist venue there that leads to Red Square and the Goom Mall.
This is Nikolskaya Street. It is a pedestrian walkway and it leads to the Goom Mall and Red Square, which is next to the Goom Mall. This is a big tourist walkway and it has many restaurants, cafes, and souvenir shops along this street. The lights you see overhead get lit up at night and it's a real nice scene to walk along here at night. And so Nikolskaya Street is one of those places that are worth coming to both in the daytime and at night because it's a kind of a different vibe or feel and crowd uh, in the daytime versus the nighttime. So if you're in town, definitely come through here, have a coffee or some food and check out the crowd and just people watch or listen to some of the musicians that play along the street or just stroll along to Red Square or the Goom Mall.
Straight ahead is red square and unfortunately it is closed right now because there's some kind of military or police ceremony going on there. Uh, you can actually watch it from the second floor of the Goom Mall if you want to. Uh, there's windows that overlook Red Square from inside and it's going to open back up in a little while anyway. So that's a look at the area around Red Square. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.